I'm Susan Merritt. I'm the curator for the Heinz Convention Center on Boylston Street, and I'm very, very pleased to present J.R. Ringdahl's exhibition of abstract paintings. Okay. Um, can we ask you, how did you come across J.R.? Well, I came across J.R. through another artist friend who is a mutual friend of ours. Um, actually, J.R. more came across me than I came across him. Uh, we met at a dinner party, and um, I liked him personally right away. And the more that I got to know him, the more intrigued I became about his artwork. So I had a studio visit one day and suggested that maybe we consider a solo show at the Heinz at some point in the future. This was over two years ago. So the schedule here is pretty booked out. So he's been waiting quite a while for this opportunity. Okay, and what, what, ins what, uh, what, did you, what inspired you about the work? Well, typically um, I look for the same thing with all art, regardless of whether it's abstract, realism, photography, sculpture. Um, it's a, for me, it's a purely visceral reaction. If um, the art moves me emotionally in some way, I trust my emotions enough to know that that will resonate with other people as well. Um, with JR's work, what I found to be most intriguing was his ability to create so many layers in his paintings that there was an intrigue and depth that was really kind of mysterious and um, almost uh, an ethereal feeling. Um, I was really intrigued with his play of color and layering of color and also extremely impressed with the fact that he finishes, finishes the paintings off with uh, transparent glaze that just adds to the luminosity of the painting. Do you remember that first visceral reaction, that emotion that you felt when you first came across those paintings? When I first visited his studio, he had a painting, it was a long horizontal painting hung above eye level. And that's, it was orange and yellow, and that's probably the one painting that solidified my belief that yes, this guy does deserve a solo show. Um, it, it just it was everything that I just described. It had depth, it had color, it had harmony, it had balance, um, it had movement to it. Uh, it was everything that a successful painting is. Abstract paintings are very sort of difficult for uh, a certain segment of the public, shall we say, mm -hmm. to, to come across mm -hmm. because they're not, they're associated with this kind of dance. Mm -hmm. What kind of reaction are you hoping for today? Uh, the reaction I'm hoping for, for for JR's show is that people give it a chance to let them, to become engrossed in it, to, to stand before the painting long enough to see. Um, with a convention audience, people tend to, one out of a hundred people will actually stop and look at a painting. Um, and when they do, it, it becomes a shared experience between them and the artist who they don't even know. Um, so for tonight's reception, most people attending will be art lovers of some level. And my hope is that I'll see people sipping wine and enjoying the cheese and crackers, but also absorbing themselves in the work. Um, that's what it deserves.